tonight. I feel those steps, I feel those stones under my bare feet. I smell them flowers on my way. I see the swallow sway. The soil supports all life on Earth. It is a community of organisms, all functioning as one. I see the light all in your eyes. I see it. We're a part of the whole. We all come from it, eat from it, and one day we'll return to it once more. Earth knows no desolation. She smells regeneration in the moist breath of decay. The foundation of a healthy garden is the soil. For a successful growing season, think deeper. Feed the soil that feeds your plants that feed you. The easiest way to build healthy soil is by making good compost. Composting happens naturally all around us in many different ways. Though in order to use it effectively, we need to produce it ourselves. But how? Hi, buddy. The ingredients are commonly found in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's begin with our kitchen scraps. We end up throwing away valuable nutrients that can be cycled back through our system. These kitchen scraps will start to decompose if left on their own. But without a proper balance of carbon to nitrogen, the pile may become smelly yeah. and unpleasant. There are many different methods and practices. Though for now, let's discuss how to make it quick and early in the season so you can have some fresh organic matter to balance and revitalize your garden. Food waste, grass clippings, coffee grounds, and other fresh organic waste products are rich in nitrogen. Straw, wood shavings, paper, and other dry brown materials are rich in carbon. For each part nitrogen, you need to include about 30 parts carbon. You can best organize this in layers, using the popular lasagna method. First, lay down a layer of twigs or branches to offer some aeration from below. Then, start with your first layer of carbon-rich material, like straw or dried leaves. If you do not have enough food scraps for nitrogen, you can also use fresh grass clippings or animal manure. You can also add some comfrey or stinging nettle for extra nutrients. Layer these a bunch of times, making sure to water every once in a while to keep the pile moist. Keeping it aerated is also important. 
almost immediately after you have made your pile, the bacteria begin to eat away at the organic matter. Within just a few days, the dynamic activity inside should cause the pile to heat up. The thermophilic bacteria move in, and they like it really hot. It's like a sauna in there. Let it cook for a few days before turning it. When turning the compost, make sure to flip it so the stuff that was on the outside is now in the middle, and the parts that were on top are now on the bottom. Try to maintain a nice shape for efficiency and appearance. If turned frequently, you should have your black gold in a matter of weeks. You will know it is ready once the worms have moved in, and it smells like the floor of the forest. By adding compost to your garden, you are creating a habitat for many microorganisms. An entire ecosystem that will help your plants withstand pressure from pests and diseases. You are increasing the biodiversity of your garden and providing it with a special stability, unlike that from synthetic chemical fertilizers. Soil building is sometimes called making humus. It is not a coincidence that it is rooted in the same origin as the word human. We are one in the same. It is all connected. When we connect with the soil, we connect with ourselves. It is quite easy to do. Our connection with the soil is like good compost. And through it, beauty and prosperity will germinate. These feet are made for walking. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I better walk on over you. Oh 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 oh. I'll walk my line tonight. I feel those steps. I feel those stones.